the umbrella body of the Northern Women Organizations, the Jamia Matang Ariwa, on Wednesday, urged the President, Major General Muhammadu Buhari, retired, and the National Assembly to hold a follow-up to the 2014 National Conference held by ex-President Goodluck Jonathan's administration. They also demanded a referendum to discuss the corporate coexistence of the nation, Nigeria. The national president of the organization, Rabbi Saulawa, or Rabbi Saulawa said, said this at the press briefings in Kaduna on Wednesday. She said, Today, we have to affirm that enough is enough. At home, in the north, we are not spared. In some particular regions or geopolitical zones where we feel we would be welcome, we are targeted. This has to stop. We believe we are in a democracy with laid down procedures and processes to address national concerns or agitation of some sort. Today, the group, the voice of the Northern Women, is calling on His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari and the leadership of the National Assembly to immediately consider to reconvene a national conference as a follow up to the one held in 2014. The issue of the Nigerian state has been a subject of discourse for some time now. We feel the concerns can be channeled through the elected representatives of the National Assembly to be thoroughly debated as required under a democratic dispensation or better still, under a referendum. All right, guys, what are your thoughts? The Northern women are calling for a new national dialogue, a new national conference, and referendum. Now, it is important to note that this is the same thing that Namde Kanu has been calling for all along. This is the same thing that those in the Odudua Republic or calling for the Odudua Republic has actually been asking for. So what exactly is the difficulty in holding talks. People are actually complaining about the way they have been governed. But the govern or government as it were or the leaders as it were have insisted that you don't have a choice to complain. Now you don't beat a child and refuse the child crying. That is a common African um, proverb that we all know. So, if some regions are actually calling for or raising their concerns of marginalization and calling for help or calling the president to address the, their, 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 their pain, their griefs, and the government has decided not to pay attention or to even grant them or consider granting them their request. What do you expect that they will do? And that is why you see that the Southeast are not having it with President Muhammad Buhari at all. And that is why they have championed the cause of taking their own destiny in their hands. It is important to note that Nigerians, as it were, are not happy with the present state of things in the country today. And truth be told, the government has not in any way uh, risen to the occasion or to the challenge to address issues appropriately. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong. Now, the president might be thinking that women's jobs are only in the other room. But beyond that, they have roles to play in nation building 
And don't forget, when the chips are down, women are the ones who would find a way to sort the family out. So it is important that the Nigerian government listen to the Nigerian women. The Northern women has come out to say, give us a national conference and also a referendum. Let us rediscuss our coexistence, reach an agreement on how we want things to be. If we still want to be part of the country or if we should go our separate ways and uh, exit from this uh, first union as the case it is. I stand to be corrected if I am wrong, but we must, as a people, understand that these cries are coming from places of pain, grief, and serious concern for the sake of the future of the children or the children's future, as the case may be. So, if the president is visionary, if the president is foresighted, then he will understand and see things from this perspective because nobody would reign or last forever. It is really, really sad and unfortunate that we find ourselves where we are today. This is not what is expected of a nation. So if the president would, for any reason, listen to the Northern Nigerian women, find a way to probably uh, consider their request. It will uh, yield more goods. It will yield more than uh, when the government or the president, as it were, ignores the women. It is important for Nigeria as a government to understand that whatever decisions it takes affects the people for a very, very long time. And that is why it is, if there is any time that is best for Nigerians to discuss, to come together, dialogue and discuss, it is actually now. Now is the best time for Nigerians to come together, discuss the way forward onto how they want to continue to either coexist or whatever other decision they make. Well, I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, guys. Drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.